As the great Yogi Berra said, it's deja vu all over again. <laughs> yes, that's right. You just saw us live on our Geek End Update. And that's where we talk movie business, right? We talk about streaming shows, what we've seen. So this is where we just fucking hang out and talk movies. We drop an F-bomb or two. We talk about, you know, just movie in general. Look at this. The world's best. The world's best movie collection. Is in All this right. room right here. Yeah, so what we're going to do is just we'll hang out, talk movies, and what we're going to do is we're going to randomly pull movies from the shelf, or TV shows, it doesn't matter, whatever, and then we're going to talk about it. <laughs> and put this up and around here. Because you're kind of far away. I want. I don't want to be yelly on this end, because I'm allowed. I project anyway, so. You do project. You project. All right. Should we do this at random, or I don't want to do this. Yeah, yeah right? just pull one, talk about it. Let's do this. And I want you guys to comment on it too. If you've seen this film, if you're like, I've never seen this film before. All right. Well, I picked out Barbershop Two. Ooh, <laughs> the sequel. The sequel to Barbershop One. Uh yeah. This is. Oh, it's even in the blockbuster case for more stuff on it. Ooh. <laughs> what is a blockbuster? Uh, blockbuster is a, a video rental store. Those things are no longer around. Wait, people um, used to rent videos? They did. Oh. They did rent videos. Um, no. I used to manage a Blockbuster, actually. So Damn straight. This case actually just brings back memories, because this is where the free tag would go. It's a little red thing that just slips in here. We'd have to take a, a magnet and pull it out and check to see if the disc was in there and if it was good, and then we would scan it, make you pay, upsell you some popcorn that's just nasty, and then Send you on your way. Nerdy Dustin, um, why do you own Barbershop too? I own, well, I own all the movies, y'all. All the movies, what can I say? But I, I really, I like Barbershop too. I love these movies. They're hilarious. Uh, Cedric the Entertainer is the best part of these movies by far. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I love Cedric the Entertainer. Me too. Me too. Um, Barbershop 2 is good, but it's not as good as Barbershop 1. Oh, and then there was a, uh, <laughs> there was Beauty Shop, <laughs> which was not good at all. Sorry to Queen Latifah, but it was not. I love it. Just Ice Cube, Cedric the Entertainer. It didn't have, Beauty Shop does not have the same magic that the Barbershop movies have. All right, Noah, you picked from the, the Barbershop. You picked from the, the Blu-ray section or 4K section over there. Oh, it's better when you don't look. Uh, I'm going to go right up here. I'm putting my eye right here. What we do when we have more live folks, we'll, we'll just reach our hand out and then look right dead in the, the screen like we're looking into your fucking souls. And then you say right or left, and we'll just go right or left. I'm going to go like right here. What we got? Oh! oh Justice all right, Teen Justice Titans. League versus the Teen Titans. So, Marvel Entertainment, Marvel Studios owns live action films let's be honest right i mean there's no really there's no marvel versus dc anymore it's marvel we all go to see the mcu movies but dc owns the animated movie universe a million times at one marvel doesn't even care marvel doesn't even put out animated films Not anymore. like we don't gotta do that shit no more they used to and they're like we don't even need that division anymore um they do what if and shows like that on disney plus but this is uh yeah i've seen it I, the only thing about these films they're really good i usually watch them one time if i'm not connected to the comic books like killing joke and shit like that i'll watch it multiple times right i'll watch under the red hood a thousand times because I, I love the comic this i've never whatever this is based on so what the they Judas did, contract or whatever this is what what the dc decided to do is cool cover though they did the flashpoint movie animated movie and after that they actually reset the comic books, but they also reset the movies, and they made it to where the, the movies from there on all went into one another and all played off of each other. Uh, and it all ended with, uh, I think, Apocalypse War. War. Mm -hmm. um, sure did. But the, Teen Ju the Justice League versus Teen Titans is one of the movies in that uh, universe. It is, baby. Um, it is. And it's right. not bad. It was pretty good. Let's go, Michelle. <laughs> right there. Right here. What do we got here? We have Iron Man. Uh, speaking of the MCU, yes, this is the Iron Man Special Edition. Two-disc Special Edition. So it's when slip covers mat matter? Look at that. Look at yes. that. Look at that. Put it close so people can look see that. it. Look at that. It's Tony Stark, and then you slip cover on. <gasps> the suit. Damn that shit. That's snazzy. <laughs> I'm, I'm a visual person, so that kind of shit, when DVDs were in their heyday, 
spoke to me hard. Yeah, you know, I I still buy my slip cover. I still want my slip covers. Yeah, I have slip covers. But yeah, man, they're not interactive anymore. Blu-rays do not go the extra mile like like DVDs used to. They I don't. Mean, they don't anymore. I don't right. look, look at this. Look at the Constantine special edition, y'all. Slip cover. You open it up, and boom, a comic book. I'll do shit like that no more. Do you own the greatest uh, DVD slipcover, in my opinion, uh, Unbreakable? I do. I do. That's what I'm. That's what I'm talking about. It that is just right up here. there. So I uh, M Night, very top shelf. M Night has its own section. Uh, uh, right there it is. Oh baby. Because, for, because besides the happening, I absolutely love M Night's movies. Oh, and The Last Airbender, but I still just pretend he just didn't make that. Okay. Yeah. So. <laughs> Look at that. All right, so what I love about this, my favorite comic book artist of all time, Alex Ross. So first, you, you've got, of course, you know, hero versus villain. Spoiler alert, if you've never seen this movie, villain, hero. And you keep going, and it keeps unfolding. And then, wait, your shit's missing stuff. Oh, no, you don't have the ultimate, ultimate edition of... What? You don't have it! Oh, my goodness. What so I missing? You're missing the uh, – so Alex Ross did a drawing of Bruce Willis's character, and um, there was some – I don't have a copy. So let's see. Is it in there? <laughs> it better be. We're about to find out. No. no. There's another edition you do not own. And it, oh, my goodness. So let us know in the comments below if you know what we're talking about. But, yeah, it comes with a hand-drawn uh, – well, it's a recreation of the uh, Alex Ross did a print of Bruce Willis's character and it had like three or more different cards and stuff in it. So there is a, a version out there that you don't own. So that's that's a grail hunt now. We gotta get him that copy. Oh, I gotta find Gotta get copy. him that copy. Gotta get it. But like look, look at the packaging. Speak, speaking of packaging, I'm just gonna pull this out. I mean look at this shit. Like right. It's a gas can. They don't yes, they this don't. is I will pay more for it. We're collectors. We're physical media people. We pay more for this kind of stuff. Do more of that. I guess steel books is the only thing that is equivalent nowadays, right? Getting a steel book and collecting art from a steel book. Speaking of Kevin Smith, he owns Dogma on Blu-ray, but do you have it on DVD? I have every copy there is of Dogma. It's hard to find on DVD, guys. If you see it in the wild, buy it. It's hard to find on Blu-ray. Uh, it's so hard to find on Blu-ray that that's a $200 movie now on Blu-ray. <laughs> um, but uh, yes, I have both the Dogma DVD, the Dogma Special DVD, and the Blu-ray. Even Clerks, the anniversary edition, has a great pull-out. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. All right. Grabbing them. Grabbing another one. Grab it. Grabbing another one. Let's What's that here. Jackass 2.5 and another blockbuster. Oh case. shit! Clearly, uh, <coughs> blockbuster. Case. Clearly, when he stopped well, working at Blockbuster, he just stole a bunch of Blockbuster movies. Uh, I did not do that. But when Blockbuster did go out of business, same with Movie Gallery. You know, Nerdy Dustin was up at that store buying all the movies. Clearly, everything must go. Liquidation sale. Everything. Everything must go. Must go. You guys have any movies out there that you love in your personal collection? Let us know in the comments below. All right, let's go here. Here we go. Oh, Ooh, baby. Oh, damn. What Ooh. a pick. Ooh, that's a nice pick. What okay. a pick. All right. This is, this is special for uh, many reasons. It's still uh, Snaggletooth Tom Cruise before he got his fucking tooth fixed. You guys don't, you guys don't, you guys don't even know about Wonky Tooth. Uh, wonky Tooth Cruise. Won wonky Tooth Cruise. You don't know about it. I'm telling you about it right now. Wonky Tooth Cruise. Wonky Tooth Cruise. Look at this. If you've never seen, just by the cover alone, if you've never watched this film, doesn't it make you want to? Tim Curry has never been sexier. And that's, I'm, I'm saying Tim Curry probably is super sexy in, uh, of course, Rocky Horror Picture Show. But Tim Curry is the devil character. Look at that. The darkness. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, it's weird when people think of a Tim Curry performance that they never. That's never on the this. list. Which is one, one of the best, best performances. Absolutely. You guys, what are some of your favorite Tim Curry performances? This is one of mine. Fantastic fantasy film. One of the best fantasy films of all time. Yeah. Um, Ridley Scott, baby. This is a Ridley Scott film. Again, one of the greatest filmmakers. Look, very young Tom Cruise. Was this his first film? 
I don't think it was his first one. One of his first films. One of his first. I think this was after uh, Cocktail, right? I don't know. Any, so any Die Hard Tom Cruise fans out there, let me know. Legend. Legend. Very good. This movie is legendary. Such a good movie. Such a good movie. All right. We're 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 done doing stuff at random. Let's, let's, let's get some stuff we can really talk about. Ooh. Really sink our teeth into y'all. And that's... This 90s collection. You love that 90s collection. I do. Talk I about love that. All these movies. All right. So in this 90s kid star collection, it's got My Girl 1 and 2, Wild America, Radio Flyer, True Beverly Hills, and one of the coolest movies from our childhood, North. I, I'm surprised no one loves North as much as they do. I love North. That film is fantastic. North was a fucking flop at the box office, it but it is a fantastic film. Um, I can talk about each one individually. I did see a uh, Troop Beverly Hills cosplay group at Dragon. Ball. That's sick. I wish I would you have seen, seen that. Anything you want to a Dragon. Ball. That yeah. is sick. But yeah, these are these are some of my favorite movies from when I was a kid. Uh, but yeah, North Radio Flyers, uh, Elijah Wood. I mean, it, the dude was just. Amazing. He's been amazing since the get-go. Even his first little cameo, Back to the Future 2. He's just just been the, the, the good son. Oh, my God, the good son. Now, granted, the good son belongs to Macaulay Culkin. That oh, performance yeah, is, yeah. is why well, I mean, Next level. Honestly, next level. Honestly, if we're talking about any character that scares me in any movie, uh, it's definitely Macaulay Culkin and, and, and uh, the good son. All right, I'm going to pop on one of my... Let's see here. Also, if y'all, if you like us just hanging around bullshitting about movies and chilling, do. definitely let us know. We can keep doing this, too. It's all day long. All right, so Evil Dead is Ooh. by far, this is one that I own every single version of, period. You know, multiple versions. I probably own six different versions of this between VHS and 4K. I, so, whereas Clerks wanted me to, watching Clerks, I wanted to be a filmmaker, Watching this made me want to be a horror filmmaker. Evil Dead is a perfect film. Well, you can put it up there with Evil Dead too. Okay, fantastic. Again, sometimes the this film, um, like in this version, is not like the best representation of. I mean, like you watch, like I was talking about movie covers. I mean, this is you're not, you're not going to see this in the shelf. The name is cool, but it really doesn't make you want to watch it. This the the cover art on this is kind of dope. Well, not dope. It's lame. Come on. Well, now the cover art and the remake, though, is great. It's so great. It makes me want to watch the hell out of it, which Absolutely. honestly might be another hot take, but I really like the remake more than that. Get out of here. <laughs> more than this? Which is really bad. rare for me to say. No, this is not a bad. I love the hell of this movie. The remake, it, when it comes to me, it's the cast in the remake. It was just a more terrifying movie. Um, and, and I really I just enjoyed it. I enjoyed it more. That's kind of, you know. That's a hot take. I know. Oh, that's, that's a hot take. That oh, is a hot take. So hot. Put another one. I'm going to just trash whatever you're going to pull out there. All right. Hot take. All right. Try trash in John Candy collection. Do it. That's not a complete John Candy collection. No, it's just his three best movies. That's not his three best movies. Uncle Buck, The Great Outdoors, Going Berserk. No, no, no. no. Best three. Here's a hot take. Best three John Candy movies. Nothing but trouble. Cool Rhymes and Home Alone. <laughs> okay, uh, no. <laughs> Home Alone. Um, I, I got. I, I will say this. I think Uncle Buck is his best movie. Uncle Buck's probably. It's it's yeah. It's no no no. I'll take it back. Nope. Plain Strains and Automobiles. It's a good one. Oh no. Nothing but trouble. No, nope. his best movie is over here. Somewhere. The best road trip movie of all time. Oh, uh, it's over there and I can't reach it. It's definitely <laughs> Canadian Bacon. I think that's his best Ooh. movie. Wagons East. <laughs> Wagons East. <coughs> all right, here. All right. All right. Let's see. I think that's his last movie. It was. It was actually released after his death. Yeah, after his death. Uh, which I think tripped me out as a kid, and I didn't know how that was possible. <laughs> so you talked about remakes or continuations. This is a perfect example. This is better. Oh, oh! This is so no, much better than the no, Saloon version. No, y'all. So me and Noah have been so friends now much for better. quite Carl a while. Urban nails it. But I'm still learning so many new things about this guy. And this is so much better than the Stallone version. Stallone is okay as dread. Uh, this is a better movie 
than that. The 90s dread movie, Judge Dredd with Stallone, is one of the greatest action hey, movies. Uh, That's I am the law. It's, it's so much better than this. Oh, no! This is Emmy Rob Schneider. <laughs> oh, that hurts my soul. It's not good. This is that, fantastic. That you're you're a Judge Dredd comic book fan? This is the oh, they're both fantastic and very this is the comic books. Very to the comic, yes. Uh, but yeah, no. Uh, no. Speaking of collections, if we're going to talk about the John Candy collection, we gotta talk about the Matthew McConaughey collection. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Which doesn't have its best movie. These are so. This has failure to launch Sahara and How to Lose a Guy in Ten Days. I do like How to Lose a Guy, but the other two like. Mm-hmm. I, I'm not a fan of, but it's Matthew McConaughey. Ed TV should have been in there. That's, I think, his his best movie is definitely. Dallas Fires Club is his best movie. Ooh, yes. Uh, yeah. Dallas Fires Club is insane. insane. So Lincoln Lawyer actually is better than, yeah. I. Okay, yeah, those two movies mm-hmm. are way better. Yeah, yeah. I misspoke. Uh, <laughs> even uh, Wolf of Wall Street. Oh, his little, yes, though. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, that whole shit was just. It. That whole oh. shit was just. That was him doing his pre-acting workout. Yeah. And like, hey, let's do that on camera. Oh, okay, I can okay. do that. That's just Matthew. That's just pure Matthew McConaughey. Also, if you're a McConaughey fan, you need to get the go. Just get Audible, just so you can get green lights. That's oh. you know yeah. that green lights is perfect. He just says woof, woof, green lights. And he just says green lights a thousand different times. I'm like, ooh, it gets me every time. All so, right, all right, all right. Also, uh, Beach Bum. Watch that shit. I still haven't brought myself to watch Oh, Beach boy. Bum. That's a Matthew McConaughey unfiltered. That movie's not for everyone. Just like Spring Breakers, it's not for everyone. That movie is definitely not for Spring everyone. Spring Breakers is not for anybody. It's for me. I love it. <laughs> I'm a, I def- I'm a uh, James Franco fanatic. You're talking about that. All right, let's see. Let's see. Oh, my God. Okay. As far as movies that are some of the best movies ever made, this is in my top 10 best movie of all time. Big Trouble, Little China. Big Trouble, Little China, you can't even call yourself a movie fan if you've never seen this movie. If Even if you're young, okay? So this, these are movies that came out in our childhood. That's why we're attached to them, and they're great films. They're great. But you need to go out and watch this movie if you've not seen it yet. It is perfect. This is a, one of those perfect films, Okay. Um, everyone is acting their asses off. Um, Jack Burton in the Pork Chop Express. This movie is so quotable. This movie is so re- it, the rewatch factor is high. It's cheesy. High. It's kind of creepy. It's it's you know Japanese. Uh, it's it's East meeting West as far as action. And Jack Burton, he's not like he's a bumbling idiot. This he is like the hero of this film, but he's also a fucking he's the least qualified person in this whole film. Except for the very end where he catches the knife, throws back. He has one trick, but it's so good. It's so great. He's definitely no snake blisket. No, man. Uh uh-uh. uh. But this he's is. He's not even. So he's good. not even. Kim Cattrall, everyone is so good in this. He's not even Tango and Cash level yet. Oh, this my movie. goodness. so bad. So you bad. need to watch Big Trouble in China. Oh. Best, one of the best movies of all time. Well, y'all, this has been fun, but we do got to get going. Definitely let us know in the comment section if you love Movie Hangout. We can keep doing this and we can expand on it. This is a lot of fun. Uh, this is really just a good time hanging out. It's bullshit about movies. All right, y'all. Movie the best. We'll see you next time on Cloud Sky Entertainment. Like, subscribe.